uh, they have an easier time taking that perspective and recognizing that what you have in your life is not necessarily what somebody else has in theirs. What you like may not be what somebody else likes. You like broccoli, but somebody else may not like broccoli. Okay. So one thing that kind of relates to egocentrism is basically this notion of theory of mind. So theory of mind is basically the idea that other people don't necessarily always have the same information that you have. Other people may not have the knowledge that you have. So imagine that I brought you a, a box of crayons and you open up the box of crayons and inside I have put candles because I'm pranking you. Now you decide to go prank your friend. So you go take that box of crayons. My question to you is what do you expect your friend to find in the crayon box? Crayons, right? They'll expect crayons. Just because you saw candles doesn't mean that they know that there are candles. So the idea is that you have your own mental states, but somebody else may have completely different mental states from you. So here's an example of one type of theory of mind task. So this is Sally. This is Anne. Sally is going to put her ball in the red cupboard and go away. Anne is going to move the ball to the blue cupboard. So the question is, you saw Anne move the ball, but where would Sally look? Sally should look in the red cupboard because that's where she left it. A child that does not have a fully developed theory of mind is going to assume that, Anne, that Sally should look in the blue cupboard because that's what they know. And so the idea is recognizing that just because you think a certain way and have certain information doesn't mean that other people do. And this is something that is a little bit debated. Um, there is this notion uh, by the researcher Simon Baron Cohen that uh, children that have autism spectrum disorder do not really have a very strong theory of mind. They assume um, this idea there's this idea that children that struggle with autism have difficulty thinking about other people's mental states. However, I would say that this is not a very subtle test. And in general, it varies from person to person to person. So this notion that impaired theory of mind happens with the autism spectrum is very, very hotly debated and may not necessarily be 100% correct at all times. So something to keep in mind. So we've moved from sensory motor to pre-operational. And now we're at the concrete operational stage. This happens from age seven to about 11 or 12. And basically what's really critical in this concrete operational stage is that children begin to understand conservation. And additionally, they begin to understand math. They also begin to understand that math properties can be reversed. So math operations can be reversed. So if I have three plus four, that makes seven. If I take away that four, I have three again. So we recognize that math has that commutative property. Additionally, work by Lev Vygotsky found that during this stage, children start to talk to themselves more instead of talking to themselves out loud. So some people start to develop an inner dialogue where they think to themselves rather than thinking out loud. Um, additionally, when we are trying to remember something, we tend to repeat it to ourselves. This is what's known as verbal rehearsal. So if I'm trying to remember a phone number, I'm gonna repeat it back over and over until I remember it. That happens at about seven years old. Yes. So what age is our stage? Seven to 12. Did I see a hand back there? Oh, okay, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, Danny. Not everybody has an internal dialogue. A lot of people do, but some people do not. Uh huh. Well, 
I would have to look stuff up on that. I think there is some research from a good friend of mine showing that kids are capable of rehearsal prior to seven in certain circumstances. So if you don't mind, can I look back at that paper and I'll show you what I'll figure out if that's the case? Yeah, yeah totally. I know I Okay. Uh -huh. I'm staring at the board and I was like, I'm a real person reading letters right now in my head. Uh -huh. what I was thinking. Oh, I had expected red here early. So wow. Um, yeah, I, I can I can <laughs> hey if it helps, if it helps, I think when I was about five or six, I was walking with people and I'm like, what if this isn't real? You could potentially argue that six-year-old me was already thinking about simulation theory. <laughs> <laughs> Like developing uh, like the development of an anxiety disorder, which I uh -huh. have now. Uh -huh. So it's like uh, there were clear signs as a kid. I just didn't know how to communicate that. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I'll find out more. Yeah, Anna. Is this the point where you would start being able to picture things that people mentioned? Like someone said, an elephant, you'd actually be able to tell the image in your head. That would probably happen earlier, but let me know. Or, or I will let you know. <laughs> I will let you know. <laughs> Like, okay, I will let you know what I find out for sure. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.